people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and it's been ages, but the run up to Christmas and New Year have been absolutely crazy for me in my uh, capacity as a funeral celebrant. And sadly, I am just about to take a service in a little while, hence the reason I'm all suited and booted. But that is the reason that I decided to make this video because I have realized more than ever in this vocation that life is too short. And it's certainly too short to waste it sorting your stuff out and just living a life of chaos. And if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I've spent the last 20 years, probably more than that, leading a very physically and emotionally cluttered life. And I never got to grips with it. I, I certainly never dealt with the stuff I was going through emotionally. And in terms of my stuff, I used to buy more and more stuff, hoard more and more stuff, never be able to let that stuff go. And it literally got in the way of the life that I deserved to have led and the time I spent with the people who deserve my time more than my stuff did and it has been exhausting. So I started the new year as I do every year and I'm certainly in so much more of a better place than I ever was but I was going right this year I'm going to look after myself, I'm going to eat better exercise, I am going to wash up every night and not leave the kitchen looking like a bomb's gone off <laughs> and all of those things and some of them I've stuck with, some of them I haven't but the game changes generally have been rather than aiming for perfection, aiming for just better and not you know knocking myself too much when things go haywire and um, I live in chaos I live in a very small house if you don't keep on top of it instantly then it looks very very cluttered indeed and I'm that one that kicks my shoes off and throws my bag down and my coat over the chair then loses my mind at the people in my family about how untidy the house is <laughs> And then realising I'm the one that's actually made most of the mess. So um, my game changes this year have been to get some little tiny routines in place that might seem insignificant, but they've really helped. So getting up on a morning and making my bed, remembering to actually put my shoes away and hang my coat up and uh, trying to get to grips with the kitchen the night before, even if I'm exhausted so that I don't wake up the next morning and have to face all of those dirty dishes and that pile of stuff that all needs sorting out. And um, on a general scale, I've continued as I mean to go on, as I have been for the last few years, in continuing to downsize the stuff I own and be much more intentional with the things I buy. And honestly, the less stuff I have, the happier I am. And um, I've never missed any of the things I've got rid of. And um, I only wish I'd have let it go years before so if you are on that same journey that I am if at any point you pick anything up and go oh maybe this will be useful get someone you know to shake you violently by the shoulders <laughs> because it won't be useful if there's stuff sitting up in your loft or in the back of wardrobes that's never going to see the light of day that means you can't find anything because you're always trying to work your way through the rummage of unused stuff just let things go send them to charity donate them sell them whatever you need to do but free them from your space in your life and free the space and the time to spend on this earth for as long as you are able to um, because I speak to families every day and they all say the same thing that we thought we got more time and we wished we had not done this and we'd not done that you only get as one. part of that don't live a life full of clutter anyway <laughs> here endeth today's sermon but as always if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter free life physically and emotionally normally at this point i would always end my video by saying until next time massive love i'm going to get a cup of tea but I can't do that this time. So until next time, massive love, and you go and have a cup of tea or even a cheeky gin for me. Mwah.